Doublelicious.com Fly Paper Products I am Jose Omar Weathers The Real Doublelicious.com Solid Vision TV Clear Image Situation Smooth Relations Block Solid Black Spark Auto Spa and I believe I said clear vision, solid vision. She does manifest these things. Because in our words have power, life, and death. Fat boy, I'm using your beat. But I think I'm gonna take this beat. This is my shit. After you done stole my EIN number, you and me, me. And then run up under the Morsad's temple, then run up under the missions, then you run to the Jew, then you ran to the Kabbalah, then you run to dark magic. And then as I'm watching your family fall apart and you're sucking everybody into your hellhole, now I see your son older, and now. He's forced under your magic spell and your bully mentality and your raggedy bully dogs that now you thought that you was going to bully me and just take my shit and run around the world in Denver and hey, let's collaborate. Let's do this. Fuck out of here, nigga. And I heard you was a pedophile. And then I, I, I tried to get you. I tried to preserve you. Cause niggas been wanting to split your shit But I said, hey, let me see what's going on with bro, man You know, cause he's telling me a different story But he's always calling me, telling me about the system and his daughter Uh, that ain't me, that's you, nigga I'm not the pedophile that like, you want to steal my ID You want to steal my energy and give me yours Cause you're the soulless nigga Damn Uh Mr. Godfrey. You know who you is. Here's your, here's your spirit, nigga. Here's your energy right here. So we're going to send that energy back to you. Let's get it. Hey. Hey. Now, what we're talking about today, I just had to give him his little five minutes of just fame. <laughs> Enough of that. What I have in front, behind my avatar here. Remember all this time, Pastor Bill and you ain't shit, Omar, Miss Dewberry. That's what y'all tell, tell me. And everybody in my community and family and quote unquote friends who are Christians and Islamists and that Isa, Jesus, and oh yeah, the black Hebrew Israelites. Them too. And all of you said that everything that's in the gospels, which means gossip and spells. If you cut gossip in half, and take a few letters out of spells, you have gospel. 
That's how you create words. That's how language, dimension nature, and all forms of written communications was for us called logos. The craft of logos or logics or logistics. Oracle computers and stuff like that. Legal language, computer language, construction language, policy language, chicken language, dog language. Everybody had a language except for black people. They use words and don't even know what the character, like the letter X or Z or W is for. And the power in that character, that each character builds the character and you call integrity. So we're going to show you what your integrity is built on from your slave masters 400 years ago and the same ones today. And from their own words, they're going to tell you how they put you in slavery and how you in slavery still through the Gospels and the New Testament. <laughs> In the New Testament. And the Bible itself. And they're going to tell you what they did to the Bible. Before they came to this continent. They're going to tell you what they did to the Bible before they came to this continent. Who they gave it to. And who was the labor force. They're called Puritans. Let me tell you the, the, the magic behind this word, Puritan. These were criminals in England, and they were sent here to be purified. And in order to be recognized and cleansed by their God, Sky God. This is the language. They have a Sky God. Not a cosmic God, but a Sky God. And that is called Zeus. Period. Motherfucker. The only pale skin sky god on the planet is Zeus. You black motherfuckers. Man, y'all make me sick. The only sky god is Zeus. Our God is cosmic. That's bigger than the goddamn sky. So if the sky is a God and we're kings of gods, Adam, name every fucking thing. But no, you let the sky daddy control you. Called the time of day. And I'm gonna show you why you like eating chicken so much too. They're gonna tell you everything what is black America right here. This is the birth of America. Then and it is the, the, the root of, a, of the black suffering right now. And these Puritans are in our justice system. They're in every fucking thing. Because they're called white trash in Europe. And they were sunk here. These garbage pail kids. These cabbage patch kids. These traumatized motherfuckers who've been beat, raped by their own barbaric culture and race of people. These people or your daddy, black man and black woman, this is your home spiritually, financially, economically. These own your soul and their sky god. And they're going to tell it to you in their own words. Now, the good guy, he's going
going to explain to the devil. And then the devil is going to say, oh, shit, I'm busted. The devil is going to tell on himself. Let me, let me take this off. We got, I need, I need y'all to see my face on this. I need, need y'all to see my face on this. The devil is going to tell on himself. Matter of fact, let me keep that on there. <coughs> Let's get to this. Let's get to this. Hold up. <coughs> We're going through this. Courtesy of Parable Religious History. On YouTube. Check them out. This is fair use. I do not own this video or that video that we're about to play. I am not for or against the people that's making this video or in that video. We're just dissecting on how it affects the black psyche that the globe see us at. They're looking at us at the dumbest motherfucking creatures on the planet. We have a cosmic God by nature but we rather have sky gods, dirt gods, jewelry gods, and gods that perish. Our cosmic god don't die. It don't lie. It's, it's not something that lies or tell the truth. It's always good. Let's get this in. I can't wait to dissect this. Now, understand, America. Understand when we watch this. I got the caption on. We want to hear this shit closely. Fathers in the Christian God first landed in New England. I knew that he. Now, these Christians are the ones in the book of Acts, who changed your names from Hebrew, Muslim, changed your tribal names to Christian. The fathers and the Christian God. There is no transatlantic slavery. When they landed in New England, Who was your God then, African America? Was you black then? Was you an African American then? Was you Pan African then? Who the fuck was you then, Master Teacher? Was you a more science temple then? Or somebody took the same blueprint under being a brick mason and built a whole city? and system for black people out of this blueprint. Because this is a blueprint on creating a city of slave laborers. Because slavery is only willing, slaver, willing labor. Understand this. The fathers and the Christian God first landed in New England to do what? Till the soil, develop the land, and you need what? A labor force. And then when you get a labor force, you have people who don't want to do what? Labor. And then you have what? Wage or wages. So since I've got to argue with multiple wages, now I'm going to tax you for what? My time. So now these white criminals... And look at their clothing. And I want you to listen real closely, white and black America, of these Puritans and their Christian God and their sky daddy religion. And how, yes, us came to our continent called America. This is called, yes, us, Jesus. Turn the J into a Y. Like you say, Jesus is yes, yes, Yeshua. 
Say to Joshua, Yeshua, do the same thing to Jesus. Yes, us. Puritans run this fucking country and these black people are our niggas. And these new white niggas is our niggas. Called the Garbage Pail Society. Get the Garbage Pail cards. <sighs> They literally scribe the black man through magic and energy into a box. Literally. And then make sport of you killing each other. WWF. Uh, everybody working out to go punch the next man or woman and break their jaw to get a belt to say I'm a world champion at beating up people. This is how sick a lot of people is. People, somebody's going to the gym right now to work out for that violent ass sport where people are kicking niggas' heads off and shit. Now, if you're doing that because you, you're preparing for war and so you need to be the sport, you win the belt because you're fighting, you're, 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 you're jousting for your tribe or you're jousting for not a team for money but to preserve your community. That's something different. But to beat each other up for money in the belt and TV fame is sad. If I was a woman, no boxer or nobody would get no pussy. Everybody would be glad I ain't no woman. A lot of y'all wouldn't get no pussy. I'll be fighting for a different woman's woman's rights. And if you ain't fighting for your bloodline, you don't get no pussy. Straight up, ladies, sisters, should tell these niggas if you ain't fighting for your bloodline, if you're not willing to die for your bloodline, you can't get no pussy. You two fellas, tell them sisters, if you ain't out here doing what you're doing. For your bloodline and the nurturing of your bloodline, you don't get no penis and you ain't getting your hair done. Fuck that. Better have standards. But since you like these standards of criminals, so Lincoln Avenue, Larmer, Homewood, Pittsburgh, New York, LA, Chicago, here is your father. Here is the wizard behind all your violence. These are the first criminals, felons, misdemeanors in America. These laws were for them. And when they learned how to do those laws after being purified, called Puritans, Zeus or Jesus, they would have to drink the blood of that demon or sacrifice and then eat the bread aka the synagogue of Satan cause you have to drink, drink blood and eat dead bodies that's been crucified over dead bodies and bones so the criminal Zeus, Jesus on the cross stuck in a hill of bones Poked the man in his ribs till it bled. Took him off the cross. And in memory of him, we're going to drink his blood and eat him. So that's a criminal element right there. <coughs> Any judge or lawyer or just a regular man or woman could hear that and see that. So let's hear about, let's read and hear about this criminal activity and how it developed. Listen, yes, us. When you say Jesus, you're giving these demons power over your soul. When you say in the name of Jesus, you say in the name of yes, us. Because they made themselves God and gods, goddesses on earth. The sky is part of the atmosphere 
And so they made themselves in your brain and in your heart and soul furniture in your life. Because now you don't want them to be removed. Because if you remove them from your soul, you'll feel empty. You know why? Because you don't have the truth in your heart. So you're going to need your white daddy. So stop fucking playing and lying, bitch. Tell the truth on your own heart and your own soul. If you take this fucking criminal out your heart that made you a criminal, that made you black and wicked and a dope fiend and a dope dealer and all this shit. This Puritan did that. This Puritan was not purified by my art or the Ten Commandments. In fact, when I was in California, the children of these Puritans created 12 steps of AA. Because they were getting drunk. They was doing shit. And they used our Ten Commandments to make 12 steps of AA that got billions of people. AA is a billion dollar industry from Ten Commandments. We had the Ten Commandments since Moses and we're still broke. You're disgusting. And you just broke my heart. Damn. That's a shame. You're pitiful. Oh, I'm hot. I'm hot. Want to burn all you niggas. But the Puritans... It's going to finish you off. Enjoy your white daddy. Black people. Enjoy. Because when the truth comes, shut the fuck up. And wrap your shit. Let's get this shit in here made his mind so clear that he would be fully a friend to the English. And in good Now, you see why you eat chicken, nigga? Right there. Right there is why 90% of you niggas will not eat nothing but chicken. That's how they know you ain't gonna wake up, bitch. You chicken head ass racist people. I'm telling you what the devil is telling you, nigga. He put it on TV right here. You chicken watermelon. They call him a Spike Lee. Tip Spade moving on some shit. Like, God damn, that's a raw bliss. It better not be a grocery list. I'm going to be hungry in a bitch. I'm still hot. So next time you go to K-Fry, Church's Chicken, McDonald's, cookout, and you go and you eat that nice barbecue chicken, think of this. When did you get here? 16 and 20, sir. How? I, I did come out on that fast ship called Mayflower. See? How did you come here? He's talking about 500 years ago. Listen to what he's saying. He's not like him. He's letting him know right now you're a piece of shit. Because you're talking to him because you know he doesn't belong here. How did you get here, nigga? Watch what he... No, check out the setup. And I, we need you to hear this, white and black America. 
This is who settled. This guy in the red outfit. This is who came as the first virus and killed and poisoned and raped our people. He's going to tell you that in his own words. He comes off the Mayflower, like the movie company Mayflower. In Print Hills, there's a company called Mayflower. Listen to the corporatization of corporate black African America. Like the Mayflower Moving Company, black African American is a moving company. That's why we can re regenderify, reclassify, remove you, or switch you anywhere we want. Why? Because you are a corporation. Black African Americans are not real. All right? So, let, let, you, let you know. How did it come out of that first ship called the Mayfire with? With my wife and two young sons and some hundred other passengers. Uh, we are most zealous uh, to live as... See? They came over here with being zealous. Look at his lips. He let you know, motherfucker. I came over here with my motherfucking wife, my family, a hundred niggas. And we are most zealous to live. We don't give a fuck about who was here before us. We taking over this shit. Understand this gangster shit, nigga. I'm coming to your hood and I'm taking your shit. The fuck you gonna do? I'm zealous about this shit, nigga. Ain't you a gangster? Ain't, you, ain't, ain't some of y'all in the gangs and shit? Ain't some of you mafias and I'm a bad bitch? Well, this is a bad bitch mafia nigga. He came with a hundred people in his family and was zealous about this shit. And they took over the whole America. Check it out. Put it with rock, nigga. As the Lord's people, and to obey his... Oh! That's what he said. We came here zealous to live as the Lord's people. He ain't talking about no black people. No copper tone. He ain't talking about none of that, nigga. And he got the Bible, King James from England. You don't know nothing about no King James 16, 11, 12, none of that shit, nigga. But you do got my art and the Ten Commandments for real, from the other side, in a different language, in a different way. They just translated it into their language, brought it here as to live as the Lord's people. Let's get it. Commandment. Uh, and to understand our work in the world. Now, you heard it said commandment. You hear the devil? Now, how the fuck you come here living with God's Ten Commandments and look at black African America right now? And the slavery and the slave trade and slave labor force. Minimum wage, maximum wage. Credit scores. America's only a concentration camp. That's all it is. That's all it is. And they maintain this concentration camp because there's a bunch of criminals here. America's a criminalized country. It's been criminalized. And here are the first criminals. The reason why America has the word crime in America. The word crime is only in America is because of this guy on the screen. The Puritans, England, British, French, Germans, and all that with their God and commandments. Listen. As a thing of his will. Were you greatly welcomed here by the people who lived here before you got we, we have hopes that the Lord hath his elect amongst these. 
is, as amongst all the nations, and that his uh, intent in sending us here is that we might So where somebody want me to show this, man? Wow. Somebody want me to show this. I'm gonna keep up. If I gotta restart this shit, just stay tuned, y'all. I gotta restart this, all right? his instruments uh, in bringing them forth onto the true faith. Well, let me uh, disabuse you of your hopes, because uh, coming from a few centuries later, I'm able to tell you that... Uh... Now, you notice they're doing carpentry, cutting wool. This is where you get that Jesus was a carpenter story. All right? Wood. And then they found some cursed wood called Jew wood. You take the J and turn it to a Y, it's called U wood. Y E W wood. And if you use the J, it will be called J E W wood. And if you put yes us on the wood to die for what? The Puritan family. Then in our memory of our fallen comrades. We will, what, drink their blood and eat their body because that's their culture in their home country. When they died, they would eat their family members. They would drink the blood of their enemies. Research it, y'all. This is why the Moors said they civilized these people because they were criminals. They would eat each other and drink blood until the Moors taught them how to put this white thing around their neck, the red Moors flag, and the black thing was for the black arts, and the hat was for the mysticism. So the entire talks about how they were civilized through the Moors. He's not Greek because he had a red hat. Minerta. So he, obviously he's not a Catholic pagan Minerta worshiper, but a white man. Meaning he doesn't absorb the truth, he reflects the truth without no true experience. Because he don't know nothing about the truth. But he thinks what he's doing is the truth. And that's why he's called a white man. Listen to this. A black man absorbs truth, but won't live it. A white man will get the truth, but won't keep it. He'll reflect it, but it's not his, because he didn't absorb anything. The black people will absorb it, but won't use it. So... The white man will use what's not his, and the white and the black man will not use what is his. So if you look at the center of somebody using what is not theirs versus somebody who don't use what is theirs, those that know this become God over both black and white people. And this is where the chess game come in at, or the chess board. <coughs> And then if you get some real people in there, we can get a checker game. Now we can get all three types of games in one game. Fuck. You definitely rule the world. So I guess that's what's next, a new world order. How are we gonna play chess and checkers on the same table? On the same board? Let's figure that one out. Very few American Indians survived the uh, good offices of the white people. See? Very few American Indians. That's myself. That's me. But if I go ancient, I would say Hebrew Muslim. 
going to the, back to Adam, the first man. And if you ask me my language, I would say Afrasiatic. We have over 300 million languages. Pick one. And each one will confirm what I said. So, if you don't believe me, you get, we got three million languages, the first million don't count. So you got two more, two more million to prove me wrong, okay? <laughs> Try that one off the sides. But very few American Indians survived the good offices of the white people. See why I said the white man? He don't know shit about how the truth came about. He just know it's the fucking truth and we're zealous about this shit and the commandments. He don't know who wrote these fucking commandments. He says, no, I got the commandments and I'm out. So that's a dog. He's loyal to being white. He's loyal to being in his own mind what it means to be purified. He takes orders like a dog. And these make perfect police people. I'm, it's, it's just what he call, I'm just doing my job type of mentality. Black people too. I'm just doing my job. If you hear that, run. That is a classic, ancient, Modern slave, all in one. I'm just doing my job. I come all spiritual. Who came here, um, and that those who did were often robbed, if not murdered. See, the first fucking felonies, the first judge, the first policeman, the first teacher, the first church, deacon, nun, they robbed and murdered us and said, praise us, Jesus, and you're doing it every fucking day. You praising these people, and they say, Joshua Shimiyaka, uh, he's gonna come with a black robe. Okay, it's only a nigga version of him, a fucking murderer. Because your Jesus is gonna do the same thing that Jesus done rape, kill, pillage, murder, and wanna sit on top of the world and say, God gave me the, the power to do this. Because you want the praise. Praise us. Yes, us. What about your creator? Fuck him. Us. Yahshua. Hey, Hitler. Yahshua. Hey, Hitler. Jesus. Uh-uh. Trying to wake up before you go to the voting polls. The same criminals, the same robbers, or the same ones who's telling you when you get old or have a baby, they're going to seize you to mental health. People, if you tell somebody your back hurt because you're fucking with the slave labor system. called labor laws. That's all, labor laws, when you hear the word labor, it just means slavery and what you want to do with your energy. So finally, perhaps you will be disappointed to hear that these fine hopes of yours were not realized. And I wonder to what degree the belief in a single God uh, who's... Ah! What belief? in this white Jesus that this criminal came here zealous called himself a Puritan yo what is the role of religion in today's society God 
Puritanism. Every time you go to church, you're being purified into hell. You're not being purified to the most high. You're being shifted into hell. From Puritanism to Hellenism. This beast came out of hell. Called Hellenism. This is one of the heads of that dragon that get one foot in the water and one foot on land. Who can defeat this beast? We can. And we are. And we will. But the battle is already won. They better get the fuck up out of here. Because the Ten Commandments that is in our blood and DNA in this land will rise above this Puritan thief, robbery, rape, trafficking, drugs, bestiality. Am I right, England? Am I right? You know. Hey, Yale, Oxford. Brigham Young. Oh, Notre Dame. Hmm. That school should really be on an investigation. Notre Dame, yeah. Jerome Bettis, 36, 9. Hut, hut, Ike, 36. I see a connection here in Pittsburgh. Puritan. And why Pittsburgh has thousand churches and 500 police stations on one city block. Wow. So you're fighting. You're using our people to kill each other as your leisure, pleasure, so you can stay afloat. Because you're dying. That's why you want me to shut up. Because your single God, his skirt belt about to be lifted up. Ain't that right, wizard? The word was not to be gainsaid, uh, contributed to the fact. The word was not to be gainsaid. Uh oh, so. Many of those who almost exterminated the Indians. Look at that! They almost exterminated us. So they changed our names to black African Americans and Negroes. So technically, you are exterminated. That's why the Bible says, I will leave a remnant. I'm part of that remnant. Or 144. Because it contributes to the vanity of those who almost exterminated. Now look at the word vanity. And then turn on BET. <coughs> look at your daughter. Look at your son. Look at your uncle, your aunt, your brother, your sister. Look at all the selfies in your phone. You, you contributed to the vanity of those who almost exterminated the Indians. Black on black crime. And then you go to church, like your father, the devil. Satan in the flesh, he talked you into praising hell. He used half your shit, half his shit, mix it up, and gave you the gossip and a spell and said, take this and you'll be saved. And you still teach that monkey shit. 
And that's why they gave you Barack Obama. Barack Obama was the devil. No. The, yeah. The, Barack Obama, Satan, Lucifer, the angels, the most high, were all at the table. Having a discussion about what y'all go for this shit. What would the people ask for? God's laws or the devil's? And show sure enough, show sure enough, the, the original man and woman of the planet picked a trick because of the color of his skin. They picked materials over spirit. Material meaning, right? Shit on that. Uh, that part. Uh. <laughs> that was listen, Doc. Huh? We keep it one thousand. Wow. That is fart, dude. Look at this nasty ass coffee. Dude. Anywho, so pastor, all you black preachers. Reverends and deacons contributed to the vanity of those who almost exterminated your very existence. And you go in and say, oh, yes, us. Because we are those who almost exterminated God's people. So when you say Jesus, just understand you're telling God I chose to kill your people. I chose to break the commandment of thou shalt not murder. I went beyond murder your people. I tried to exterminate your people. I tried to erase them off the planet and the memory of history. Because I contributed to the vanity of those who almost exterminated God's creation. What's God's creation? The North American Indian. You contribute to it. How I know? Because I was a piece of shit too. That's why it's coming out. Because it ain't in there no more. I was a piece of shit too. I sold drugs. I contributed to the vanity. I wanted to look good, so I sold drugs. Broke people's heart. Broken the cars. I never killed nobody or raped no that crazy shit, but I'm just guilty of something too. I was. And I contributed to this shit. But I'm not guilty anymore. How about you? He without guilt cast the first stone, bitch. <laughs> Literally. Who is without Sin, cast the first stone. Because my tears is the bullets and I'm reloaded. I'm reloaded. Matter of fact, check this out. I literally got stones. I'm a stone mason. I've got a pocket full of stones. Bought a Cadillac, dropped it to the city streets. Or to the point where I don't need cash no more. Still smoke weed, drink and kick ass, yo. But them niggas won't leave me alone. Because they know that this is got to Handful of stones. Motherfucker. To exterminate. And so now people have been trying to exterminate me all my life. They taught my bloodline and other people's bloodlines and people 
how to use vanity as a weapon to exterminate their competition. Vanity is the weapon against our people. As long as you worship yourself and Jesus, you're cool. Let that swish in your mouth. This goes beyond my understanding, sir. Uh oh, right there. This goes beyond my understanding. He's a Puritan. He wants to talk about God's da da da. But this motherfucker don't have a clue of what England, the Germans, and the Greeks did to that group of people who came in as a hundred or probably a whole lot more scattered all over over uh, over, over the country. So this is just one little pocket of families. There's a whole bunch. And they got children that come to the city, do their thing, and then come back and dress like this because this is their way of life. It's called living a double life. That's how the black man learned how to cheat on his wife. It's called a double life. This is how the black woman can be a bad bitch at night, but want to be an upstanding black goddess in the day. This is that where you become shifty. So the business suit is only a facade. It's, the, it's an illusion. The real business suit belongs to the Greeks. The real business suit belongs to the Romans. Not white trash. As you know. Trash. And he says that this motherfucker is so stupid that to kill Indians was beyond his understanding. He really believed that Jesus said it was cool to exterminate all the Indians. And they still believe that to this day. Let us proceed. What? If you can't be in at the creation, you can be in at the remake. And this is a remake of the first community which the Puritans who came from England built here. Or they came from England. White trash. Today that would be a trailer park. <coughs> In Germany that would be a ghetto. In New Zealand, I don't know what the fuck that would be. I forgot I mentioned that. What do they call this in the UK? United Kingdom. United States, United Kingdom. United Emirates. Air, 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 Emirate. Everybody have a united something except for the black god and goddesses. I don't know. I'm, that's weird to me. Everybody else is actually doing god shit. Like United Kingdom. People who created the United States. Would you get these black people making stuff on live feed? How there are black gods and goddesses, and not one thing about y'all united that's tangible. Bro, that's a lie. Spilling blood or killing each other, watching each other bleed, that's the only thing you got the corner market on. But since the white man got more blood spilt, you got a long. Hey, hey, black people, you got a lot of work to do to catch up to your white daddy on all the blood he spilled on the planet. I'm just saying, man. Now, your, 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 your first father, Cain, y'all got that part. 
You black Canaanites, you got that. You was the first one to split a nigga's head. I understand it, gangster. Mafia! <laughs> Straight up. Canaanites, K A I N I T E S, Canaanites, or the first mafia, the first killers. Don't worry about that. The first assassinated. Don't even worry about it. Mysterious is know what I'm talking about. Because he sat there, watched his brother do all that work, go to God, and then said, and then the next time he watched his brother, he watched his brother do the same shit, but before he got, before his brother got to God, he beat him in the head with a rock, <laughs> a stone. A projectile. Detroit. Stone. Flint. Barney Rubble. Flintstone. Detroit. Flint. Stone. Town. Detroit. Flint. Stone. Town. Dapper. Abba. Licious Day. Where Barney Rubble at, man? Hey, Barney, where you at? And where's my fucking Wilma? Hey, Wilma, where you at, baby? Where you at? I knew this funny. This is what you want to do to me, Detroit? You want to hit me in my head on the way to giving my offering to the Most High? Is that why y'all keep trying to beat me in the head? Is that why you're trying to say that I'm mentally? That's in other words, that's your modern way of wanting to kill Abel, huh? Damn. The story doesn't end that way. You don't get a second chance to hit your brother in the head with a rock, okay? On his way to gonna go praise the creator. You don't get your ass fucked up for having it on your heart to even think about it. And that would be your forever punishment. There would be no light for you. You would never see the light of flames. False light. No true light. You would never see light ever, ever again. Don't even worry about it. You won't even see the light of the abyss. The abyss will be the lead and the anchor of your very existence. And to all those that were even trying to think and remember you, today's souls shake with the ultimate fear of being non-existent. So that way nobody could conjure, write, oblivion. Motherfuckers is sad. Keep trying to keep beating me in my head, huh? With these projectiles. This is a bullet. If I make a big enough gun and put some gunpowder behind it, this is a bullet. You brick masons always hate stone masons. You always do that. Because God said, make the altar out of stone. You, on the other hand, want to use brick and mortar. Same fucking story. It even rolls in place. Try to roll a brick, idiot. Try this. I'll roll a boulder and you flip a brick. You'll find out why my life is easier than yours. 
You hate God. You hate the Creator. Look. And near here at Plymouth. In a strange way, the people who come back to it, I suspect, are not actually of English descent at all. They come back to look at roots which actually weren't theirs. But uh, Americans have a tremendous desire to trek back to their places of origin and validate themselves if they can by that means, even if they aren't all that valid. <laughs> Pilgrim fathers had fled the intolerance of the kings in Old England. They fled authority and established their own authority as a criminal empire. And now these Stuart kings of Old England. These two are at war. And these Stuart kings need the Jews and other nations for these fucking band of witches and criminals. They didn't expect the criminals to be this successful. Really. These stalwart kings of England and Europe and the caucuses did not expect these criminals to be this powerful. In fact, the criminals outsmarted them because when they learned how to read, they took the ancient books of death and corporatized it called insurance companies. They, they, they learn how to hustle death. Think it, if you're a murderer by nature, you eat people and drink blood, no matter if it's a baby or a cow. And death is your friend. You love that shit. And you need it every day. You need blood every day. Vampire, dog, ah. You need to see somebody dying. You need to see war. I have to see war. That's my shit. Like tongues on clicks. Two hands on a penis shit. I love that. Right? But I got to pay for it. How am I going to do that? I know how. Give me $50 a month. And I'll make sure when that person dies, you won't have to worry about it. You know why? Because I'm going to dress it up so you fix your memories up. Then after you leave out, I'll take care of the rest. Okay? All right, cool. So now the insurance money build up. And we give you a value of a million. And you get a good idea or you go broke. So now, all we do is waiting for you to kill your kinfolk. <laughs> so my homies and them, the lawyers would take the money. The judges and all the legal lead team would take the money. And we'll do the shit all over again. Hustle death. Then we'll create these fucked up laws that will make people kill each other. And we'll house them and they'll kill each other in our jails. And we'll just drain their blood to make hospitals around the jails. So we got blood, death, hospitals, taxes, this box. This chess game here. If that, you see what's happening? The stalwart kings, chess board of old England. And these thieves, the opposite side of the chess board. And the red man and the black man on the checkerboard. The black and the red version of the white man. Copycats. This is but their own brand of intolerance was part of their spiritual baggage. The Puritans took over the East, 
their descendants and later immigrants won the West. Look, I never even seen this before. And the most I lives. Praise y'all. That's why I'm bold. I put the work into the research. I put I made the shit connected. I did this by myself. So no anybody teach me shit. I wouldn't got these books. I wouldn't talk to people. I would kept myself uh 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 uh, uh I, I made my I made sure I absorbed and I made sure that I reflect like white that I would give the creator all the glory. In the store. And that's my square. Me, God get the glory. Reflect. Absorb. Boom. Cool. Reactive. Listen. And carved its wilderness into a parody of the East. God oh. and Mammon soon went. Now remember when I told you there was something I was showing y'all yesterday, last video, um, about how they came to the story about the wilderness. This is prophesied. They will come through the wilderness and turn it into concrete. This is the book of Revelations. How this locust will come about the earth and start eating everything up because of our disobedience. Then, and it's coming to a head now. Look. Into partnership. Look. Then the Mormon with the partnership. So now you got murderers and rapists in partnership with the Book of Mormons. Y'all heard that? Y'all read that? Rewind my video. The Puritans and Mormons, rapists and murderers, who's at war with the Stuart King, plural, maybe, you know, teaching us about Yeshua, Jesus, Jew. Wow. And got Jesse Jackson. In the name of Jesus, to tell you that you're a black African American. I wish y'all could see what I see. I wish y'all could see the movie that I'm looking at right now. It's scary. I, I was just thinking, right? I was out when I was outside yesterday. I was wondering why am I uncomfortable being around people. I'm uncomfortable being around people. Why am I uncomfortable? I realize Ninety five percent of people here in America don't give a fuck. As long as they put it on Jesus, which means yes us, and because yes us have a vanity complex. Identity complex. The fact that they like to drink each other's blood and eat each other. It makes sense while I'm listening to murder music. It makes sense while my family have my family is physically dead and the other half is socially, mentally, and psychologically dead. It, it makes sense. And that's why I ain't mad at none of them or nobody. Really, I, I'm not mad at because y'all. Wow. 
Wayne, 9 11. Y'all see that? It's 9 11 moment. Toyota. Labor force traffic. Ministry. See? Look at it. Look at their structure. Look at their structure of the sky and their ability to pray God. And this is what Jesus gives them. This is how when they worship themselves, this is the reward of self-worship. Yes, us. Let us make man in our image. So if they read that the creator made man in his image, he said, well, shit, let me try that too. And he created African Americans. Obviously, he created United States. Obviously, he created brick masons and other black social groups and social awareness. According to what? Yeshua, Jesus, Jason. Because he says. That's what Jesus means. So, yes, us. And he saved. He saved. Yes, us. Yes, us, save me. Marinate on the, for that one a minute. Marinate that on that for a minute. Wow, I ain't playing this shit. I'll oh, shit on myself before I do that. We'll do this. Thank you, Bird, for the mental flaws. Shoot, it sound like in the city. <clears throat> you sound for music. You sound to the planet. No, no just to me, there's a people.
guess Mother Nature done went off for a minute. <laughs> Alright, I see these niggas in here to pop their shit up on there. But yeah, ask y'all to do that. Alright. We got commercials on there and shit without me knowing. Alright, so now we see what Jesus does on earth for the sky that he does for them. Alright. Now, the difference between their sky daddy. Right? Is that our cosmic daddy, creator, made that ball of sun, moon, stars, and everything they used inside the dome called sky to create or to find their God. So if you come from a lineage of kings over gods, being king of gods anew, and it's a million tablets, he was a king of gods, plural. So if you're gods or goddesses, and you have the bloodline or the energy or the, or the spirit of anew, and you're a King over gods, plural, and Jesus is what? God. Then I'm telling you, Jesus is no longer useful. Okay? Let me uh, fix this for you so I can look in your face. Let me fix this. Let me fix this. Alexa, who is a new in Sumerian tablets? <sighs> Alexa, who is a new in Inky? Inky was formerly known as New R-Code. Never mind. How about I just do this? Help you out. Because you want to talk about hieroglyphs and languages and shit. Shit way before the word Africa was even thought of. But I'll help you out. Now, see where they get Jesus? This is not the most high. A new, the sky god and chief deity in Sumerian mythology and later in the religion of Assyrian and what? Bible. Baby. Trafficking. Drinking baby's blood, Molex, six-pointed star, Astarev, bunch of titties, hourglass shape, the being uh, what we call obese, the book of death, black, white, African-American, and pan-Africanism. Gorilla in the mist and right here.
This is what we would call Zeus or Jesus. Jesus is no longer useful. Wake up, Hebrew Muslims. Shake it off. Wake up, black man or black woman. And shake it off. Shake it off. It's okay. You don't get dizzy. You don't have some blood <laughs> issues and you don't get hot and cold sweats and stuff like that. Okay? Nobody was around then. For my coffee. Ready, ready. Let me show you some coffee. That's our little thing here. All right. Uh, make sure that's cool. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Let's get back to work. Cups and spoons together. Catch it back in the fridge. Well, folks, y'all, hold up. I should have been playing the video, huh? All right, so now we got the new thing going on. Sumerian mythology. Who is it new? Look that up. So, Athena, Zeus, Enki, the crew is all here. So check it out. Kronos. So now you see where your worship us come from. They said fuck all this. Worship us. So here you what you worship. Here you go. Bing bing. Look at that. I wanna be like that. See? Black man wanna black woman, this is black success. To copy off of their daddy. That's why the dad. That's why the Bible says, "You are what your daddy is. You're a liar. You're a felonist. That's why we confiscate you and kill you. Because God gave us permission. 
These people are tools against us today. They're, they're weapons against us. That's why it says, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And if the pale skin is a weapon against the children of the Most High, who's disobedient, imagine if you're not disobedient, then that weapon that's formed against the disobedient doesn't prosper against those of us who have practiced mercy, no, who put mercy in the bank and live in God's obedience. Ten Commandments, 42 Laws of Ma'at, and the 12 Steps of AA, while you're on earth amongst this beast, obvious system. I had to share that. It was someone to share it with somebody or something else. I can't remember what it was. Was it a book? What it was a book. I'm trying to think. So, how did Jesus come out of Joseph? Well, if you go back to ancient sources, you know it says the 4th century to the 1st century B.C. Big ups to Adelis.org. Ancient sources. Jacob, the leader of the Hebrews in Egypt. This is Aseneth. And the priest nation. This is where they this is where the Pelskin Jew right here becomes the children of God. All right, these are the people in the shadows, right here. Because Joseph, let me say this, everybody know that Joseph, Jacob, And Abraham was not a Jew. Jacob, Joseph, Moses, and Abraham wasn't a Jew. So this Jew world would have never been in the city of On or Kemet. That's something new. This is called typology. Alright, this is called typology, those that's not familiar with it, those who've never seen typology in modern day text, and call an ancient source Jabari, Sire Netter TV. So anytime you get a black priest from Egypt quoting out of text that has been what? typolized a typo oops and make a correction let me misspell and since I don't believe in your shit I'm a gossip about it and put Jew in it cause you what a W means curse Jacob the leader of the curse in Egypt. So now, if you are a seed of Satan, Puritan, then the seed of Jacob will be a curse who's in Egypt. And if you don't go to Egypt before he found his information in Egypt, it'll be a curse to us. So we must take Joseph, turn him into Jesus so they can worship us in Egypt and that yeah and we'll put Yahweh because it's not a God of source right Yah source and where 
W-E-A-H, source. Put together. The source of sores. Or you get a sore throat, sore feet, sore ankles, sore back, neck, and shoulders. For what? Being a slave. Get into the bag. Working 13 jobs. Getting fired and then killing everybody in the hood with your drugs. Because you're what? A curse, you black Jew. If you are a black Jew, you are a curse to the Metro Netter and the Ten Commandments. I just want to let you know, you better, you better do some research. In fact, let's go to the first one, first book of Maccabees for history. It's Righteousness, Joseph. In those days, Mattathias, the son of, uh-oh, John the Baptist, and the son of Simeon, Peter, a priest, John the Baptist, sons of Yarib, or Yarib, Adam and Eve, moved from Jerusalem, Yeru, and Salem, peace. In the settlement of Modin. I don't know what that means. I'll, I'll, I'll research it one day. But he had five sons. John the Baptist, surnamed Gaddy. Simon, surnamed Thassi. John, surnamed the Baptist. Simeon, surnamed Peter, the rock of the church. Right? Judas, surnamed Jesus. For the Puritans, white man. But in this Judas is called the man of the hammer, Maccabeus. Eliezer, another priest, El, God's sword, priest, called surname, or, or another name, nickname, Avram. And who? Yo Nathan, or Asenel, Aseneth. See, if you put Aseneth, I'll say in, in Egypt, A S E in Ase, Ashe, Ase, Otep, let me. Then you see that Nathan as in Aseneth and Joseph, motherfucker, because you get Jonathan. Also named Athos. Or your phone, at Hustling, at Hus. I had to play with that real quick. He saw the blasph the blasphemies being committed. Where? In Judah. That means in his city. And Jerusalem, where David grew up at. Not David was in Judah, but he grew up in Jerusalem. And he saw the blasphemies. And said, alas, why was I born to see this bullshit? The ruin of my people, the holy city. That they call Pittsburgh, New York. This, that. The blasphemies of calling on another God. And to dwell there when it gets given over to the enemy. The sanctuary given to the aliens. These people are aliens. Her temple has become like a man without what? Honor, nigga. Her glorious vessels have been carried into captivity. Our babies. Look, her babies have been killed in the streets. Her youth by the what? Sword of the foe. What nations has not inherited her palaces and their cities are spoils. This just confirmed everything I've been telling you motherfuckers, man. But I need a behavior evaluation for the thousandth time. Like, shit, I want to hit me in my head and get y'all to believe that 
That's why the most high is in my heart. Because you to put on the helmet of salvation. Surprise, motherfucker. Dabalicious.com. Good morning still. Hope everybody's enjoying this information. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Sexy, your endowment has been taken away. So you call it black success. No longer free. So you got to work hard on the Puritans labor camps called inner cities. And that's why you have to be corporatized. Because all your adorations and adornments has been confiscated because you're a felon according to the Ten Commandments. That's a heinous crime against your own soul. I had to research the word felon and where it came from. It means to confiscate. So, you can't confiscate my shit because I'm following the Ten Commandments. I live the Ten Commandments. I adore Ten Commandments, so they haven't been taken away. But you don't adore the words of God or the lifestyle of my eye. And you won't even practice 12 steps like Jacob's Ladder. So, the devil said, I'm going to take that away. And you're no longer free. She has become a slave. Period. You read that. The black woman has become a slave. And she looks good. Go outside. Black slave. I got to go to work. Y'all know, know how bad my hips are hurt right now, man. I had to do all that fucking walking and shit. Riding my scooter is not fun either. Hitting bumps and shit, be jerking and shit. I'm like, shit, uh -uh. That's why I can't see the wheelchair. I see the wheelchair, that shit. And I'm, my upper torso is already smashing on my L4 and 5. When I stand up, it's on my L4 and 5. That's why I'm not trying to gain a whole bunch of weight. Uh uh. That's just too painful. And so that's why my scooter is my prescription to get around in, like a wheelchair. Because if I sit down and, no, that don't make enough springs on a wheelchair to, to make my shit better. If we want for marijuana and sleep, Look, keep it one thousand while with you. This last run when I was in Home War, when I knew everybody was against me and everybody was just steal my shit. When I first, when it first was confirmed, this was their motivation. I had I had to play stupid, and I had to be up. Like you. Coming out, t shirts, I be you. I be up. Get the song already. Hope my man call me. I be up too. I be you. I be up. Two thumbs up. I be you. I be up. So those t shirts, that jam, that video. I be up just like you, man. I be you too, man. I be you. Literally, too. Everything about I be you, you get the picture. I, letter B, or uh, B, actually going to get some pollen, actually getting my money, planting seeds, just like you. I be you, too. Since there's two of us, that's we, not just me. And behold, comma, our holy place, our beauty, comma, and our glory have been laid to 
two ways. Check this out. The Gentiles, look, look, here's the Gentiles right here. Profaned it. <coughs> uh, I took it off. The Puritans or the Gentiles. How we know? Because they put churches over top of our holy place. They stole our beauty and told us that we were monkeys. They stole our glory by taking our bloodline with drugs. And mind altering TV programming. And mood altering drugs. The Gentiles have profaned it. So, our ancestors, the Bible, scriptures, they're already telling on themselves right now. And who is doing it to you? So if you're a black, white, whatever religion you are, and you're a Gentile, this is what you did to my ancestors. The Hebrew Muslim, the Afro-Asiatic, the priest, of humanity called Shemites. We don't give a fuck what y'all do. Just leave our priesthood alone. But nope. They don't want any fucking thing. Why should we live any longer? See? See, see, the, see the shit right here? This is what y'all say today. Verse all oh shit. Here's what the conversation is today at church. So they're saying, why should we live any longer, right? The new way of saying that is, let's go march. Look like we're doing something. Copy off of the people who actually march for something. Let's act like them. So we can get written in the books for doing nothing. And just let it stay like this. But we'll have the name, the black man and the black woman, boom, next to the white man. That's all you want. The devil's in the middle and you want to sit on the right hand of God. The white man's already on the left hand of his God. But you want to get on the right hand of the white man's God. And you'll have a Father, Son, and Holy Spirit moment. See how that works? Because you don't want to live any longer. This is history, man. And the black Hebrew Israelite is that proof. And the black Christian and the black Islamist or even whatever black religion you in. There's no uh, stone unturned on this subject. Everybody guilty. And Matthias and his son rent their clothes. They took off that Gucci shit. They took off their Air Jordans. They ripped up that contract. They got rid of that Bentley. There are expensive pictures and shit on the walls of your mansions and seven-story houses with just you living in it. They got rid of all that nigga shit. Could they say they rent their clothes? So that means they rent their clothes, they went and rent their house. So... If you're going to go pay rent, motherfucker, you might want to research what rent really means. I'm going to go pay rent. That means to take 
a piece of yourself off. That means everything that you accumulated, you're taking that off to give to somebody else. Instead of having your own home, you have to pay what? Rent to somebody else. So now he took his clothes off and gave it on and put on what? Sackcloth and mourn. Then the king's officers who were enforcing apathy came to the city of Modin to make them offer sacrifice. And here we go. Many from Israel, not Jews, because right here, the Gentiles or the Jews. So how can a Jew who is a Gentile hate himself? How can the devil hate the devil? That's where that comes from. If Joseph is a Jew, if Jesus is a Jew, and Jews are Gentiles, and they profane the holy place of the Creator, then that would be the devil fight the devil. Black and white. See? Chess games. I didn't make this shit up. You're reading about it. Then the king's officers who were enforcing opacity came to the city of Mildin, making them sacrifice. Okay, we did that. The king's officers spoke to Mattathias as follows. You are a leader, comma, honored and great in this city, comma, and supported by sons and brothers, period. Dopolition.com. See, that's why I have these. That's what it means. People of the hammer. Hosea Omar. Salvation. Speak. So I'm speaking salvation, right? Now be the first to come and do what the king commands. As all the Gentiles and the men of Judah and those that are left in Jerusalem have done. Then you and your sons will be numbered among the friends of the king. And you and your sons will be honored with silver and gold and many gifts. Now. Here's the option to sell out or get the hell out. How many of black leaders, quote unquote, community or abroad, sold out as Leo Africanus, meaning friend of the king? Google it. Leo Africanus means friend of the king. He sold out. Oh, no, I don't. My dragon ate them all. Nobody want to talk to I see why nobody want to talk to me. Matches of deception. So Mattathias, he called him a leader. He knows he's honored. So listen, he said, look, bro, you're a leader. And you honored, supported by sons and brothers. So he wants Mattathias to dishonor himself, be disloyal to sons and brothers to do what? Let's see. Then you and your sons will be numbered, okay, with gifts and gold. So that's some tangible shit, right? Gifts and gold. Technology, cars, tatted up body. A new swag. Yeah, nigga, what's up? 
Look at my shit. See this gun? Yeah. Bang, bang. Look at bang, bang. Look at Of the king, nigga, look at yeah. Look, look, look what the king gave me, nigga. Before all that, you was honored. Sons and brothers fuck with you. The daughters fuck with you. You become friend of the king. You get gold and jewelry. And you come over here and you fuck over our sons and daughters and you stick your dick in our Young teenagers' mouths. It's not allegedly no more polite. You've been convicted. And other people like him, we've already said years ago. Check it out. I was in, uh, I'm looking at it right now. I was in, living in Cornegate at the time when I made that video. I said, I fucks with polite hustle on the information on houses and stuff like that, the books. But his personal life, we didn't talk about that. But we did hint that that shit's gonna collapse. So, look, when I first seen him, young Pharaoh, at uh, General Suicetti, it reminded me when me and my cousin Sadal and my Aunt Bieber too, and when the X Clan first came to the hip hop scene, and remind me when everybody at my age was acting like Young Pharaoh, Polite, and um, Shorty. Man, we was big on Africa. Now, one one came out. It's a joke. Flavor Flav had that big ass watch. X Clan came out with the leather. Circle about this motherfucking big and the Africa sign right would stick out way out here. And if you didn't have one of the medallions, trade out, this is in the mid 80s. If you didn't have that African medallion made out of real leather and it and it had the RGB colors in it, and if it didn't stick out like puff, if you if you couldn't push it, you wasn't cool, nigga. You was, you was African, nigga. You was black. Don't get it fucked up. You was black. Black power. We was with that shit. For sure. But you weren't cool. We couldn't press that African side. It was a pillow. But maybe it was just me. It might have been just me. Hold up, y'all. I had to remember some stuff. Man. See, I never forgot these. People think I had memory last night. That's what kept me alive all my life. Remember them, them good memories. Of having experiences going through the Black Power movement, studying and seeing the the fruits and the shit that is not so fruitful in it. I wonder about the smoke something. The fucking cancer stick. So what do what did the black man how did the black man get to this point? Let's read. Verse 19. But Mattathias answered and said in a loud voice. Listen, he said in a loud voice, even if all the nations that live under the rule of the king obey him and have chosen to do his commands, departing each one from the religion of his fathers, yet I and my sons and my brothers will live by the covenant of our fathers. Listen, E-Y-E, -E, verse 20. I, my sons, and my brothers will live by the covenant of our fathers, not yours. Uh uh. I don't know what to tell you. See, because if EYE don't do that, I don't exist. Even if I'm moving, I don't exist. I'm the king's big toy. I'm literally gone. I'm possessed. By who? The will of a fucking other man. Who y'all call a king, queen, this, that. Forbid from us to desert the law and the ordinances 
of who? Our fathers. We didn't have Jesus. We didn't have a gospel and shit like that. We had a we have a cosmic father. An organic mother. And a creative wisdom. Far be it from us to desert our laws and ordinances. We will not obey the king's words by turning aside from our religion to the right hand or to the left. That's in your gospels. So they took this story and made it gossip, put a spell on it, typology, and gave you Jesus. And changed, look, they changed the name who? John the Baptist, and to who? Simon the Peter, Judas to King David, from what? Judaism took Joseph's, what? Inheritance. Right? Switched it all up. Gave you golden jewelries if you would kiss Jesus' ass and worship. So now, Tell you what he says. This is how we know what a Jew is. When he had finished speaking the words, a Jew came forth in the sight of all to offer sacrifice upon the altar and were doing it according to the king's what? Command. Only a Jew, a curse, disobeys the Ten Commandments. Now, you could call Israel over there Jews all you want to. This is not about skin color. This is about a curse. I'm not here to die for the king. Fuck you. I serve a God of life. When Matthias saw it, he burned, like I told you, I was getting hot with zeal, and his heart was stirred up like I am now. He gave and vent, like I'm doing now, righteous anger. Ah, nigga. He ran and killed him upon the motherfucking altar. The fuck out of here. God said the altar's made of stone, not bricks. Mason, the fuck out of here, you Gentile. You curse. You Jew would, meaning turn the J into a W, I mean to a Y. When I say Jew, I'm not saying anything about hating. We're talking about linguistics. And right here in history. What Gentile Jew did to my bloodline. And you're doing it to this day. So I don't want you to use your laws and language and your Puritan murderers and mafiosos to make up any conjuring spell to put them under that somebody's being an anti-Semite. We don't know what the fuck an S-E-M is. It's S-H-E-M. Shemite. They got another lie. Took the H out. As in Hosea. Motherfucker. You hate me first. But Matthias saw it, he burned with zeal, anger. At the same time, he killed the king's officer who was forcing them to sacrifice, and he tore down the altar. You see what's going to start? The revolution, where we begin to exodus from this gospel. The king is going to come and say, how come you don't want to bow down to my commands? Well, I'm going to tell you why. I think you knew why before you even came because I'm honored amongst sons and brothers. And we got that honor 
and the trust of those men and children from the Ten Commandments of our cosmic God, not our sky daddy. Then he burned with zeal for the law. See? As Phineas did against Zimri, the son of Salu, in the book of Numbers. Let's read that. Alexa, what's the book of Numbers, verse, chapter 26, verse 6 to 8? No, read in the Bible, Numbers 25, verse 6 to 8. Bible, the story of the King James Version, by Gordon Oh, Campbell. this bitch. Listen to this audio book. No, 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 cancel. Plus 30 day trial. No, I'm done. Cancel. God damn. I want, to hear, I want you to hear it for real. That's the wrong shit. Let's read it. Scripture. That just confirms scripture, right? If it ain't scripture, then don't talk about it. Let's watch these demons run. Let's watch these demons run, y'all. Watch. I can't hear because my family was mur being a murder. I wasn't thinking about nobody else. Everybody come fucking with me like, all right, do what you're looking for. Now, this is verse 8, they said, 65. Now, there was chapter, I want chapter 5. Here we go. Verse. Let me make sure I was right. Okay, chapter 5. But what is this, first of all? I can't have to look here. Oh, 25. That's why. All right. 16. Now notice when they use Yahweh, God of Swords. So even in this text, it's a curse for real. Just give y'all a heads up. But for the sake of it being in the Bible, all right, how they tore the Bible up with magic spells. 25. Now, when we read, it's going to read a little different. That's what I got to do. Every time I click it up, I got to. They want you to read it with me. Y'all see that it's not me being a hater. You know, I'm going to try this. I might be a hater again by doing it one more time. Okay. I guess it's cool. Twenty-five. All right, now Moses to the judges of Israel. Everyone kills his men who have joined themselves to who? Baal Peor. Behold, one of the children of Israel came and brought to his brothers a Midianite woman inside of Moses, 
and in the sight of all the congregation of the children of Israel, not Jews or Gentiles. While they were weeping at the door of the tent of meetings, one of Fenines, the son of Eleazar, and book of Maccabees, with John and Simeon, before they changed his name, and they created a Jesus, Papology, all right? The son of what? A Hebronite or a Hebrew. Aaron and Moses are called Hebronites. Moses and Aaron are from Hebronites. There's a bloodline for that. The priest, comma, saw it. He rose up from the midst of the congregation, not the church, not the circle, doesn't even have how many people. That's why it says, don't number the children of Israel when we're congregating. And took a spear in his hands, or AK-47, and he went after the man of Israel into the pavilion, comma, and shot the nigger, both of them, through the man of Israel into the pavilion. Let me see, read this again. He went after the man of Israel to the pavilion. So he went into a place after this man of Israel to a place and shot him, shot both of them. He shot them, right? Thrust, because it says, and thrust both of them through the man of Israel and the woman through her body. So they shot a woman and two men. He thrust both of them through. A man of Israel and a woman. Oh, so look. This Gentile, whether he's white or black and skin color. This Jew, whether he's white or black and skin color. Jew, Christian, Jew, whatever, Kabbalah, we don't give a fuck. The point is, it clearly stated a Jew. And the word J would turn into a Y, means you, and that means in German, Latin, and all that, a curse. And that's why Hitler said get rid of this curse. So the plague was stayed from the children of Israel. So now you understand why the plague was stayed, meaning it was held back from us. Those who died by the plague were 24,000. White man, you hear that? Called the coronavirus. Those who died by the coronavirus was 24,000. Yahweh spoke to Moses, not the God of swords, Yahweh, like Yahweh been Yahweh, but Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Alexa, what do Phoenix mean in Hebrew? Hmm, I don't know that one. Tell me this. What do P H I N E H A S mean in Hebrew? Poison the coffee, man. That's just nasty as hell. I'm gonna go cough and make you feel like this. What is the new port? I'm 
might be cigarettes. I don't know, it might be, it might be the squad. They doing something different with the motherfuckers, man. I guess it's anyway. I'm down here. I smoke cigarettes. See, they figure poison everybody to get to that one. Cause that's what they think. So the most I told Phineas, I want to know what his name means. I'm, I'm, I, I really want to know. No results found. Wow. Let's try this. Search the web for it. That's what his name means. Oh, but then again, you know what? That was the energy. That's what it was. Something. That's what it was. I, I know what it was. I know what the problem was. That's the energy of something's happening right now. I'm changing this. But it said Fienes was was in the cell ball, some type of type of practices was they doing? Let's just scan through it. Moorish Americans. Hold up. What happened? What's, what just happened here? <clears throat> yeah, what just happened? What the fuck just happened here? So we got Moabites, displeased the immorality. Now, look at this, when I talk about the more science temple. But we don't have to stay in this blood war no more. If folks just want to stop the bullshit. Now, displeased with the immorality with which the Moabites and the Meteorites has successfully tempted the Israelites. So when I told this guy Godfrey, who is a Moorish American, Moabite, Mason, brick Mason, whatever, who talks about immoral shit, literally, he don't know that I know his DNA. And when I hear his first couple words, I knew that when he professed to be a Morse, a Moabite, I already knew that lined up with immorality, and that in my priesthood and bloodline, it's displeasing. So I walked away. That's why I got this. His, I started this, this video out with his, with his beast that he made up, while he steal my shit. She could have always tempted us with something. Why? Because to intermarry and to worship who? The Kabbalah, the Gentile, the Jews, whether they're black or white, false gods. So the priest personally executed an Israelite man and a Midianite woman while they were together in the man's tent, running a javelin gun or spear, bow and arrow, through the man and the belly of the woman. Bring it to the end to the plague sent by who? Allah. Allah Akbar. Muslim. Allah Akbar. To punish the Israelites. Not white man. Not black man. 
not niggas, niggets, Christian, Jews, he, nobody else. But we're sent to punish me, motherfucker. Allah ain't punishing nobody on the planet but me and my bloodline and my brothers and sisters. If I promote this bullshit, this Pink Panther shit, You killing me. I'd have been killed my motherfucking self. If I'm not good to me, the fuck I look like being good for you, bitch. Finian is commended by God, Allah. In the book of Numbers, as well as King David, bitch. In the book of Psalms, for having stopped Israel's fall into adulterous practice, bitch. Bitch. Brought in by the Mediate, what? Black woman. White woman. Green woman. Orange woman. Give a fuck. Fat, skinny, long hair, short hair, good pussy, bad pussy. I don't give a fuck. It was as well for stopping the desecration of who? A lost sanctuary on the planet. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Praise Ya Allah. This is the manhood. Priesthood. Thou shalt not hustle another man's fucking misery. And served at the sanctuary of Bethel, the book of Judges. So that's even been judged in the Bible. History. Come on, man. But I'm the psychopath. I need. To die, huh? For real? No, you gonna die, bitch. I ain't talking about the white folks. We're talking about people who've been trying to kill me. We're supposed to be my family in here. Shut the fuck up. You can't have, uh, Godfrey, uh, whatever, whatever the fuck you, right, where you, on Scroll Hill. You and your girlfriend, Mimi. That dark black magic shit. I wanna bust everybody in the ass, cause you what? Immoral. And look, this ain't even personal. I've been saying this shit before I met all of you. That's where my conference coming at. I've been doing this shit before. I haven't been doing this shit before I met all of you when I, when I came to Pittsburgh. And anybody else on the internet. I just had to take this, what I call, show on the road. Where my shit at? Let me get my face off of here. Oh, my shit's gone. Hold up. Where my shit at? My dear God. Where my shit at? Get my face off of here. All right, get my face off of here. I'm talking about my ugly face. That nigga, that nigga get ugly after a while. All right. Oh, man, it's good. Bop. Um, make him an avatar. Um, give him some play. Got my second commandment jersey on. Thou should not have no other gods and serve idols and shit. So we got, in this one sentence, in the scripture. Hold up. Right here. We get a priest. We got Allah. We got King David. We got his written Psalms. And it all goes against your adulterous practices, black man and black woman. Native American, or not, whatever. Brazilian, South American, North American, Central America. 
Texas, Mexico. Get rid of those idolatrous practices and those fake gods. It's a desecration of Allah's sanctuary, the Most High sanctuary, Allah's sanctuary is the same frequency one. Because I live that frequency with joy. After the entry to the land of what? Israel. After the entry to the heart of Israel, the mind of Israel, and the death of his father, he was appointed the third high priest of Israel. Behinez was. There's no talk of Jesus. No talk of him saying that Jesus is going to be the 14th priest. None of that. Because one, Jesus is adulterous. Because King Hezekiah broke the serpent on his staff that y'all worship. With Moses had in his hand. Because y'all got a problem with worshiping shit. That's how the Puritans could roll over you today. Because you like to worship yourself. Called vanity. And they come to purify you. <laughs> so you can praise, well, they, in their language, us. Our sky of God. You'll be a new man. You'll have a, a new king God. See that, see that king of God's work? You'll have a, a new God, literally. You'll have a new God. And so, with this Gary Gnu and the king God Anu, you have a religion. That's new. Jesus. And he rules every God on the planet and takes many forms. And when you drink the blood of a new and eat the bread of a new from his table, you can kill, rape, steal, and run to him for forgiveness. <clears throat> now, what's crazy is the bronze colored one. Who is copper color and bronze if they're not talking about the Afro-Asiatic, it'll blow this up. This is what I was looking for. Confirmation. A side netter. There's some more confirmation for you. That you're not black or African American. In Egypt. <coughs> ah. Panihas. Aaron, Hebron, Hebrew, what? Muslim, mean black or Nubian? Oh shit, y'all look. Nubian, motherfucker. I need my face on here, hold on. I need my face on here. I need my face on here now. I got to own this. I got to. I'll be a fool not to. What did I tell you? What's up to my Southern Playlistics? Catastack, Funkalistics. With my funky music. Got no show how to use it. You want to get high, 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 high,
support your research to me, the Nubian. See, bronze colored one. I gotta make sure I'm recording, man. Hold up, y'all. I ain't get excited like a motherfucker, y'all. Let me make sure we're recording. Yeah, we record Facebook. Oh, whoa, whoa. How y'all feel, man? Let's get back to it. Look at that. So, what do you think of the Nubian Egyptian wars? Matter of fact. Alexa, what year is the Nubian Egyptian Wars? From Wikipedia.org, these factors would lead the two states to full scale war, which started in 1272 as the Nubians sacked the Egyptian town of Adad. That's the missing history. This war between Kemet and On, when the Pharaoh's son tried to assassinate my grandfather. Alright. This started the war between the two states called Kemet, Black, and On, Nubian. We had the southern part now, and Kemet had the northern part now. And through that, Africa became spiritually fruitful. That union between the kings and the pharaoh. Okay? Now we're on the same page. So when the Kemet, black, and the people of On, bronze, or Nubians, this is where they say Selassie is the king of Jamaicans and stuff. That's what we say. That's a lie. As how I preach by blood and spirit and flesh and bone. As my brother says, his keeper. That's a lie. You're just new. You're Nubians. You are the bronze colored ones. You are the copper children. You are the seed of Abraham and Shem. But only when you take off that Greek hat and pick up my art, Ten Commandments. And since we in this devil world, the 12 steps of AA, and no weapon formed can touch you. None. I give you the history. You have the oracles. You have the writings on the wall now. You have your Pan-Africans, thousand years research studies. Now you can make the connection while we are the bronze color copper, a.k.a. American Indian pharaoh priest kings that rule half the planet. And the Greeks had a quarter. And Kimmy had the other quarter. Don't get mad because we got half and y'all got quarters. Just be thankful for what you got. Because the creator of the cosmos gave us half. Why? Because we wanted to spend time with them. You wanted to kill. So Africa kills and Caucasians kill. And now priests kill. So it's killing season. And they're right, Dipset? Kill a, kill a cam, camera. Let's watch them kill each other. I see it too. See that shit? Go say the Lord. Yep, I see it. The angels, yeah, we're looking at it. Right behind the veil. Dabalistic.com. I am your kid for Jose Omar. Like, share, subscribe. You know what I mean? You share this information makes this life possible for us all. Remind yourself of your volatilities.
now we have that connection. So there should be no problem. Southern part of Egypt, Nubia, the Nile. Kemet had the north. No problem. We was in harmony until something happened. Well, somebody wanted us, some Greek Jew, wanted us to bow down to some king. And obviously, the black man, or Kemet, Jabari, Sadanetta TV, House of Consciousness, must have ate from the king's plate called Leo Africanus. Because if Leo Africanus, with the word African is in his name, and Leo, lion, courage, means friend of the king, who gave out what? Jewelry and shit, right? Because it says that in this book here. Phineas, the son, ladies and son of Aaron, the priest, has turned my wrath away from the children of Israel, that he was jealous with my jealousy among them, so that I did not consume the children of Israel in my jealousy. So this is a destruction against me, if I was guilty of this. Verse 14, now the name of the man of Israel was slain, who was slain with the Midianite woman. So you can be with a white woman all you want to. You sure will get killed, nigga. Thus says the Lord. So it ain't about race, color, religion. It ain't about none of that. But you, Israelite man or woman and child, if you follow them niggas, I'm going to fuck you up. That's why a white woman put a nigga in jail on the regular and that's why a black woman put a nigga in jail on the regular. And that's why the zookeeper got penitentiaries, a.k.a. William Penn, Pennsylvania, penitentiary, Quaker, Puritan. See? Because you go against God's word. And they're here to put your ass in jail. That makes sense? Big ups to my Keystone State family and friends. To my Quaker family in California here in Pennsylvania. And to the Pennsylvania and William Penn family and everybody else. And to the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and the Commonwealth of Europe. And there are things that know this to be true. We say shalom and lakum, peace and greetings. Let's have a dot day. Let's praise our gods and live according to our gods' will. Because we can live in harmony. Just leave us the fuck alone. Let us do what we do. You got Jesus, we got Yahweh and his Ten Commandments, and that's it. We can make America great again. Donald Trump, hit me up. I, I listened to you for the first time. I think you learned your lesson. But according to Simpsons, Donald Trump, they want you dead. We say we that don't have to happen, Donald. Holla at me, man. Not Don King. Fuck him. Hey, Trump, holla at your boy. Not Yeezy. Not Beyonce. Not, not, not the, the Miss Clowns. We don't, we're, not, we're not doing brick masons. You need stone masons now. Because now the name of Israel was slain, was slain with the Midianite woman, was Zimri, the son of Salu, a prince of a father's house among the Simeonites. So yes, Hebrew, black Hebrew Israelites, you get your jaw broke too. Like that fight that was on that corner, arguing about nothing. So these are his names. I don't want to go into all that, blah, blah, blah. Now, the Most High spoke to Moses, harassed the Midianites, and strike them. For they harassed you for their wiles, which is fun, which they have deceived you in the matter of pure. Morse Americans, uh, people mi mixing uh, uh, a lot with other gods. And in the matter of Cosby, as in Bill Cosby or Cosby, the daughter of Prince of Median, Cosby in jail, Bill Cosby, right? Their sister who was slain on the day of the plague or coronavirus in the matter of Peor. And, 
and it happened after the coronavirus that Yah Allah spoke to Moses and to Eliezer, the son of Aaron, the priest, saying, Take a census of all the congregation of the children of Israel. Not the nation of Islam, children of Israel. Not the Baptist church, the children of Israel. Not Hosea's church, the children of Israel. Not because Omar said so, the children of Israel. From 20 years old, selling drugs or in prison, right? And upward. That's why Chicago, everybody got guns. And that's why we don't have no houses by their father's house. Because why? Dad's in jail and white man got all our houses. So we can't do that now. All who are able to go forth to war. Because they know if we got our houses, our fathers, and our 20-year-old men, we will go to war in Israel, in our hearts. And the priest who, Moses, Elazar, spoke with them in the plains, which what? In the communities of where Moorish Americans, Moab. That's why I tell the Moorish Americans, I'm not arguing with you. To the stonemasons of the Moor Science Temple. Who spoke with them in the plains of Moab. By the Jordan Jericho saying, take a census of the people. For 20 years and up, as y'all commanded Moses and children of Israel, nigga. Not make a rap song, pussy. You know who I'm talking about, fam. I self authoritative master. If I say Islam, let's keep it pushing. To uplift what? Fall of humanity. When a man who had a crystal ball evolved into what? A noble man named Drew Ali. So I don't just I don't have no disrespect for to be a noble man by the name of Drew Ali. Big ups to the Ali family in the bloodline. We're keeping the fight, but some of y'all have lost y'all rabbit mind with this reincarnated shit. These are some of those that came out of the land of what? Egypt. Not Kemet. The land of Egypt. Kemet was a state in Egypt. All was a state in Egypt. Reuben, the seed of Leah, the brother of Judah, the firstborn of Israel, see? The sons of Reuben, his family. So we're not talking about my brothers like Joseph and Manasseh and Ephraim. All right? And they're called Reubenites. The sons of Elad. So that Abraham, you get Abiram. Or Ab, Ab Eram. Or Ab Eram. As in Iran or Iraq. These that death in and Eram were called of the congregation who strove against Moses and against Aaron. So even Reuben and some people of Judah went against the, 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 the priests. So I'm not surprised if my dad or mom hate me. I'm not surprised if my neighbor is spying on me. I'm not surprised I'm in a roach infested building. I'm not surprised when my own brother would have hit me with a stone or sell me stones like crack rocks, crack pipes, fentanyl, illicit drugs, dirty pussy and women and, you know, black culture. That we dance to. To my word for it. Shit. Let's see what else we can get into. Well, we'll jump out of that. What else we got on tap? So, we get to Joseph. So, how, so this is how Jesus became born of a spirit. 
Alright. <coughs> we got Joseph, the Jewish tax collector. Is this Jesus' father? Could they talk about what? A tax collector in scriptures. Hey, Alexa. Alexa. Who is the tax collector in the Bible? From worldhistory.org. Zacchaeus was a tax collector in the city of Jericho during the ministry of Jesus of Nazareth, 20s, 30s CE. Now, could this be Joseph, the tax collector, and Alexandria? How they write us out of history? Because this is the same story in CE. But this is way back in BCE. Typology. Word magic. Wickedness. Deceptive scribes. Joseph and Tobit retires from what? Tax collecting in Phoenicia. So why am I paying taxes to people who came here and kill and murder our people when they should be paying taxes to us? You see what we think about. Somebody owe me some money. Fuck. So we're not talking about reparations, black America. We're talking about thousands of years of debt that they owe us in taxes, plus interest, documented. Find that documentation and we take it to the UN and collect our money. Put your face back on. Stop being a fucking coward. Now, who is this guy? Hycanus, the son of Joseph, goes there Alexandria and gains favor. Now, don't that sound like the same Joseph that goes to Egypt and gains favor? You see how typology, Greek, Roman, German, now English, now America. Who's Hyrcanus? Hyrcanus. Alexa. Who is H Y R C A N U S? John Hyrcanus II, a member of the Hasmonean dynasty, was for a long time the Jewish high priest in the first century BCE. He was also briefly king of Judea 67 to 66 BCE and then the ethnarch of Judea, probably over the period 47 to 40 BCE. See? See we get Jesus the Jew? Now, either Jesus, the Jew, father, a.k.a. Joseph, if you want to use it, he's either a carpenter or he's a tax collector. Now, <coughs> if somebody thought he was a carpenter, but his main job was collecting taxes, then there is a clear proof to investigation, this was a, a court case, that... Somebody lied, forced a document, or knowing and willingly mixed this up. Because Jesus is either from his people who collect taxes or he's from people who build 
houses. Because if I build a house, I got to pay taxes. So, being that Jesus got a 10% collection plate in the church, I'm going with taxes. I'm going with Joseph, Jesus, taxes, collection plate, don't build shit, no house. Don't build shit, nothing for no Israelites. Make sure we keep them out of history. We'll build a house for that. That's about it. As far as we build for them, it's something to keep them out of history. And because it's Greek, we'll put them in Pandora's box and take their gifts. Because that's what people try to do to me here. They want to take my gifts and my arts and my skills, copy it, rewrite it, <coughs> put their face on them, sell it somewhere else across the world, and then kill me. As if they, and then live as if it was theirs all the Come on, man. Same shit. And say, oh, it was mistaken identity, and we'll let the law interpret that. So this Greek Gentile, son of a tax collector, called Jesus is Greek, Zeus, sky daddy. And he's in Judea. And I told y'all, if you put Judah and Edomia together, you get Judea. And this is the birth of Judaism. Right here. My shit just blinked. Wow, it just blinked out on me. Let's see what we're recording. Yeah, it blinked out on me. Yes, yeah, a cigarette made me sick. That's what it was. We don't need no more anyway. We need this. And this. So, how do you get a Nubian to a Greek? Right there, you see the lie? That's the lie right there. They give you black African American, gave you Yeshua, the real Messiah, like the built stuff, because his dad was Joseph who built what? Helped build Egypt and obviously Alexandria. But the fake one. Hakonisis, Gentile, Jesus, Gentile, Jesus the Jew, Gentile, Book of Maccabees 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 talks about the war against who? The Jews, Gentiles, and the Edomians, in the land of what? Judah, in the land of Reuben, Issachar, Joseph, in the lands of Samaria, right? It's always been war with this. So now that the Indomenians, uh, now that Judah takes commands from the king, it's called Judea. Because the Judites, if you're going to be Jamaican, Judah, lion, you're in bed with the king. You let the king give you gold, diamonds, jewelry, cheat codes, a badge, a galvan, a row, a school, a few brick masons, a few books and religions, and now it's called Judea. And you have a black and white Jesus, 
Matter of fact, you have a purple gang with the, all those masons and stuff called children of Israel. And that's the truth. But they worship a false god. So, don't figure that out. And this is Harry M. Chronicle 177, usual tribute. But Josephus, one of the what? Prominent Jews. But Josephus couldn't be cursed if God allowed him and his work to survive for us to research it. So Josephus, as in Joseph, the Nubian, Hebrew Muslim, wrote it down. The son of Josephus, the leader of the Jews. He would never, my friends go into this, what, he, what they mean by that. So I, I don't want nobody to think it's just me. So Lucius Philodopor became king of Syria and Asia. Okay, Chinese and Japanese, you weren't even here yet. You were Mongols and shit up there. Khans and up there in Tibet, Siberia. Titus, Livius, Not, it might be Titus in Gospels, but nonetheless, Roman, Greek, Titus, and the name. The writer of tragedies, see, Greek, tragedies, was in his prime. Because of his excellence as a writer, he was set free by Livius Salinator, whose children he had educated. See, look, told you, Hannibal, told you, Mongols, fled to Perseus, the king of Bithynia, because every invoice had demand that he, sh he should be surrendered surrender by Antiochus. And we know that Antiochus was who? The first one to call Hebrews Christians. Book of Acts, chapter 11, verse 23. Let me get that up there. Watch. Everybody like King James. Check this out. Ah, I ain't doing that. Right here. Document it. Document it. Right? Document it. Shit. 
All right. So, we know through documentation, Hannibal, the Mongol, fled to Perseus, the king of Bithynia, because envoys had demanded that he should be surrendered by Antiochus, who he had joined after being defeated by Scipio, what they call Africa, what they call Africa. Scipio African, Scipio Africanus, or Africanus Scipio. Scipio, Scipio. But when Flamininius, on behalf of the Senate, this is before slavery, black slavery, black African American shit. Again, as person to surrender Hannibal, the Mongol, and he was about to be handed over to Hannibal, drank poison, and was buried at Libysia and Bithynia. All right. Simon, who was in charge of the temple at Jerusalem, not Peter, not the rock of the church, but Simon, fled to Apollonius, the governor of Phoenicia. How we know? Because we did what? Collect taxes. Didn't Joseph collect taxes? And Phoenicia? Didn't somebody turn over the tables? If the people of Hammer and we are doing business and you're in my father's house doing bad business, it would be natural for the tip over the tables of my father's house as tax collectors or coin exchangers for the currency. So I'm going to get to that bag, right? So in Antioch, Antiochus, who did what? called disciples Christians. Let that marinate. Next time you call yourself Christian. Let it marinate a little bit. And this is not about hate, racism. We're just talking about the Hebrew Muslim Exodus, Exodus from hell. We out. So now, black Christians on the planet, and white, but it's mainly about America, and how we're going to make America great again. Jews are not Israelites, they're over there bombing each other over there, we're going to, that's not the people of the truth. So you Pelskins and foreigners here in America can go over there and do all that shit over there with them and then say, well, why didn't you tell us those are fake Jews? We've been telling you for the past 20 years those are not real Jews and you're going to send more money over there to keep killing yourself here in America because every time you get into a Jew war or a Jew situation, America suffers. That's why Hitler, the Russians, and other surrounding Caucasian countries 
Don't fuck with them. They're troublemakers. They always fuck shit up. America, how they get a sky dome and we don't? Where is the dome that covers America? What's up, big home? I'm recording. I'm recording. Where you at? I'm downtown recording. All right, well, let me finish, let me finish doing my job for the most time for the people because I, um, I got a thing called Solid Vision TV, and we teach the people about getting off this magic spell and shit and being men again. So if you give me about like an hour to get there. All right, one love. Thank you, man, and happy hustle. Yup, yeah, shalom, man. Peace. All right. Uh... Appreciate that. All right, where we at? So, now, the disciples who were Hebrews, then they called them Jews. Then they say, and the Jewish disciples were called Christians. They didn't say black or anything. But we do know that these 12 disciples were classified as Hebrews. Now, what they... Twelve black Hebrews, white Hebrews. I wasn't there. Was they light skin, green or purple? I couldn't tell you. But nonetheless, I knew where Hebrew come from. I know who Hebron is and was. And I know Abraham in the location in the color of the soil. And I know that earth tone does not have black and white in it. So, the answer is in the question. When it comes, when it comes, when it comes to something like that, let me get my ass up. I need some coffee, some real coffee. Yeah, I need some real coffee, y'all. I had to brush my teeth. All right, we're gonna close this up, man. So I get this phone call, man. Let me go. Call that big homie and maybe we can get some things uh, sparked. And you kill folks who say, Omar, we pray that you uh, enjoyed this presentation and the connection between Christian Jesus and the changing of names with our money, Judea, Edomia, and here this priest and here are the books. Maccabees, there's five books plus more. And these are true history right here, as you can clearly see. The king is sixth king of Egypt, the Ptolemy. So obviously Egypt's name got changed if he's the sixth king of Egypt. Can you imagine not having history and your children grew up thinking that Ptolemy was the only king of Egypt? Look at that. If Egypt had kings for thousands of years, and this one is telling you he's the sixth king of Egypt. See the typology? Even in Kemet. So Kemet, while you sitting here trying to kill us still, you got these Greco-Romans and these Mongolians linked up using you to kill us i find that quite fascinating what the hell what do i know i'm just some um, voice in the wind i guess till next time have a dap day may the gods keep you safe and father yeah we praise you and thank you for uh letting us make this video we pray that you be glorified. We pray that somebody that they research it and glorify you, magnify you. We ask for your permission to go out and talk to your church. We ask for permission for your protection. We ask that you will protect us from what we know and don't know. Protect us from our from our from our uh, ignorance. We ask you to uh, protect us from your enemies and our own enemies. Protect us from uh, things we can't see. Protect us from things we can see. We ask that you would enlighten our spiritual senses 
that we may have the wisdom to apply to our physical senses. Uh, senses. We may pray, we pray that we may have permission to be as one with the gods in creation, that we may learn to uplift each other and strengthen each other, that we all as one voice and one mind glorify you and say, holy, holy, holy is the most high Yah Allah. And we out. Peace.